Amanda, what do you think about some colorful, colorful pens? I think we need them. Look, it's a bungee office chair. Is it comfy? Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Amanda. Welcome to our channel. Today I am going to show you something that we have been working on for a long time or something that we haven't been working on for a long time. It's actually where we live. We have an extra room and we call it our tackle room. The problem is that ever since we've moved in, we haven't had the time to go through the room and organize it. So it's become a nightmare of a room. So we're gonna show it to you and we're gonna go to the container store and we're gonna organize it all, make it pretty, but I'm just gonna show you some of the before and then we're gonna show you all the steps and the after. Here comes Emily. Hey guys. It's pretty bad. It's Not really bad. bad. Hey, I'm a lot taller than you right now. She is. She's in shoes. I'm, I'm wearing, actually taller. She's taller. I'm wearing like slippers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show them to you. All right, those are my slippers for the day. Just gotta make sure I don't wear them to the mall. Our tackle room slash junk room. All right, guys. Not gonna lie, it's pretty bad. So we have stuff everywhere. We have these aren't even all of our rods, but these are our daily use rods, I guess you could say. We got our rods here. We have this whole um, I don't know shelving unit with miscellaneous tackle boxes, and this is actually candy because we do make, we call them snackle boxes, and we make them for kids. I will show you an example. This one has some pencils with cool little mermaid tail erasers. And this is like a little stamp. Um, these are stickers. These are actually erasers. Look how cute, guys. And this it's is an um, a, a, a sharp tooth candy necklace. So if you are under the age of, I don't know, 18, I guess I could say, and you book a charter with us, you will get a Snapple box with little, with some candy and some fun trinkets. Yes. And you get to keep the box too. It's all yours. So Tackle box goes home with you. Yes. And all right. Let's see what else we have in this room. So these are our kites, our tiger's kites. We were keeping them on the boat, but... We weren't using them every day and they were getting covered in salt. So when we went to use them, it was just a nightmare. So we decided we want to keep them dry until we use them. And let's see what we else have we have. We have this kite rigging kit over here. So also kite, from... It's not kite rigging kit, it's outrigger yeah, rigging bad. kit. Um, also from Tigris, we currently just redid our outriggers and we have these clips from them. We have... This is on the floor. This is our hydraulic steering fluid. So basically for our steering wheel to keep it nice and lubricated. We just had to refill that and we don't have a location for it. So it is on the floor. <laughs> Let's see, I also want to show you, um, well, here we have all of our accurate reels. This one is our planer fishing reel. This one is, we use it for kite fishing and trolling, bottom fishing, and then our spinners. Um, we also have rain shadow rods, which if you haven't seen before, say Gale Force on them. They say Team Rain Shadow on them. And Conley was the one that helped us put it all together. Right there, it says Conley. And we have some rod runners, which are great rod um, storage. Storage. Here's our, here's some r, &R tackle stuff that we get. Um, this is great for kite fishing, especially kingfish and meatfish. Some yo-yos. Let's see, I don't know. All sorts of it's a collection of it's a scary collection. It's scary guys. So we're going to transform this room, take you along the journey with us, and let's go to the container store. Let's go. Are you ready to get your organizational OCD? Yes, all? as we clean our I'm gonna go into the trash. Four empty bottles of protein shakes in the car. Those are clear. They're really good. They are. They're plant-based protein shakes. 
Um, these were half empty because we left them on the boat on accident. And these we drank today. <laughs> Anyways, all right, time to get our car clean, but now our tackle room. I already have these um, in, in my closet. I know, I'm really feeding it. Alright, so we are looking for. Oh, well, we're in the kitchen section. We yeah. gotta. Okay, let's just take a minute. So, what do you need? We basically. Shelving. Yes, that's probably gonna be by like the closet stuff, I think. Right? I don't know. I don't know either. I just walked to the kitchen section. Let's just look around. See, look, we have everything you would think of. <laughs> it's a cool store. This whiteboard calendar is cool. I thought about putting it on the wall in the taco room. Then I kind of realized we have a Google calendar that we share, so I don't know how necessary that is. We have that, and I mean, we've talked about getting like a nice, pretty big whiteboard or corkboard for us to put all of our stuff on, but with technology these days, you gotta be able to put it in your phone, and if it's not in your phone, it's not getting lost. I just literally walked past these and realized that we literally have no pens in our apartment. I think I have like two pencils that I've been using. So I'm going to get some pens, maybe some Sharpies, and basic stationary things that every household needs. Amanda, what do you think about some colorful, colorful pens? I think we need them. Look, it's a bungee office chair. Is it comfy? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we don't, uh, we don't have office We don't have an office, but we uh, do all of our stuff at our kitchen table. Kitchen table. Oh. Yeah, we're going to play with that when we get home. Because we're getting warmer. I think we're thinking more like this kind of stuff. Yes. I like this one right here. It's like, super long, and just open space. We just took a little trip to the container store. This bag has our kitchen supplies. Well, we just bought some kitchen supplies. So it has some kitchen supplies in it. And at the store, they're holding on to our shelving units that we bought. And we're gonna go pick them up and take them home and start organizing while we were walking around the mall. And we came across a cotton candy stand. And it's called Cotton Candy Sugary Delights. Go show them what, I'll show you. There's Cotton Candy Sugary Delights. They have a bunny. I got in strawberry and grape. So the pink bunny is strawberry flavored and the grape is the bow. Emily got a minion that she already ate. Kind of falling apart. The minion's falling apart. Look, go show them the minion on display so that they see what your minion looks like. It's right there. They have a Hello Kitty and we just took a nice little break from the container store get some cotton
Emily, show them around. Okay, all right. So, basically, this is our extra tackle shelf for the tackle that we don't keep on the boat. And thankfully, we love these Plano boxes, guys. They have little spots for labels, so we were able to label them. And then, for example, this box is super big, so we just used a little sticky note for a index card. Index card. Then we have we had these extra buckets of just like bulkier gear that wasn't gonna get put away super easily. So basically, we have our some extra like wahoo lures and wire and shark rigs in here. We have aerators and some outrigger gear. Um, this corner is the only corner of like stuff that's kind of stuffed, you could say. With all of our tigers kites and extra spars back in there. And you guys may notice that there is actually candy. So, the candy is for our kids that come on our charters. And thanks to Take Me Fishing for supplying our snackle boxes, as well as Plano for giving us some of their boxes to fill with goodies for kids. Okay, moving on. We have this is kind of like, we call it our business shelf. So it's our printer, ink, all of our shipping supplies for shirts that we sell, and stickers, folders. Um, we do sell stickers too, guys, if you're curious. Cool Gale Force stickers. And then the bottom shelf is all of our camera gear. We have GoPros, regular cameras, we have a drone. And then this shelf up here has rod runners, which is basically, you put your rods in these, and you can literally carry it with you if you're only going to carry a few rods around, and then you put it down, and it's super convenient and easy. So thanks to Rod Runner for our Rod Runners. Alright, so that's basically the shelves. The shelving unit is nice. Everything's off the floor. That was a really big thing for us, was getting everything off the floor and out of boxes and organized and looking pretty. And then we just have our rods, and these are actually not all of our rods. We keep some of them um, at our parents' house in their garage because they have a garage and we don't have a garage right now. But these are this is everything that we use on a regular basis. And then we have a little filing cabinet with our business cards and extra miscellaneous storage. But lastly, we have this little couch here in case we want to sit and, I don't know, talk about what we're doing for the day. Basically, that's it, guys. We hope you guys liked this video, you enjoyed following us around, going to the container store, going to the mall to get cotton candy, and then coming back here and kind of reorganizing this entire room and flipping it on its head. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe for more. You can follow Gale Force Twins on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. It's pretty much the same across the board. We hope you liked it. Please subscribe for more.